special treat on this family day. Please welcome Greg Hudson. He's the editor in chief of Sharp Magazine, a beautiful magazine. So it is the essential reference for the modern man. And I mean, the photography in it, the modeling in it, the, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, during your time there, you've chatted with JT, Justin Timberlake, Chris Pine, Mark Wahlberg, Olivia Wilde, Elizabeth Moss, and Kate Upton, to name a few. Yes, so you're that's hobnobbing true. Uh, I'm with hobnobbing. the A list. I can tell you stories. Ooh. That aren't necessarily that interesting, but I can tell you stories <laughs> about them. We will save those non interesting right. stories Good. for another day. Because today we want to try and update your man's style. Summer can be a tough time for all of us, I yeah. think. We, can, we all tend to maybe get a little bit too casual. Sure. But for men, um, there's this idea of a man in a suit. And then summer comes around, and a lot of men don't know what do we do about this suit yeah. situation. Because I don't want to wear the black and the navy blue suit Definitely. all the time. Yeah, exactly. So one of the problems that men face is that they, unless they wear a suit, Suit every day to work, they might not have that many options. Right. So they have a few good suits. Um, but then summer comes along, like you say, and they think that they have this all season suit, but that is a lie. It's no not, such thing. No such thing. Mm -hmm. You have to switch into a fall, summer, I mean, fall, winter, or a spring, summer suit. Okay. All right. So let's give them an idea yeah. of what we're talking about. All we're right, getting so out of the box a little bit. This gorgeous color. Exactly. So that's one of the ways that you can upgrade your man's style is think about color, mm -hmm. think about fit, mm -hmm. and think about material. So this, we do it in a different color. So instead of the navy or the gray, we go with a nice green, which is still versatile, but it gets you noticed a little bit and it's not too scary for somebody who's not right. ready for it. Um, and it's in linen, so it's cooler. Uh, and linen now is fits a little bit slimmer than it used to. It used to be like this billowy thing. <laughs> right. And now they make suits in linen that are, are tighter and that looks really well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like the fact that you mentioned it's linen because a lot of men, if you say to them, go get a linen suit, they're like, uh, is this an R. Kelly video circa 1997? It's like, no. Exactly, yeah. It doesn't have to be the all white linen. Linen comes in darker, in darker colorways. Exactly. It's fitted, it's structured. Johnny, you look phenomenal. Johnny, you gonna model on. Yeah, give him a hand. Give him a hand. Now. Uh, close to probably 28 years now. Unbelievable. You look years. amazing. Thank you very much. Like, <laughs> after you're done, I want all of your diet. I want all of your fitness <laughs> regime. I want the whole thing because you look as good now appreciate as you that. did 18, 20 years ago. So give Johnny a big round. Thank you. You look great. <laughs> very nice. Okay, let's go on to our next look now. Yeah. So, Let's come around to the weekend. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be a sloppy, slouchy mess. And I think women and men both have this sort of problem with casual. Yes. Casual doesn't have to be yoga wear from head to toe. Right. Or the same old t-shirt um, and, and misshapen pants. Casual can look like this. I often just wear yoga pants. So <laughs> this Nothing is, wrong this with is good for me, too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, men can let it go on the weekends. And there's kind of justification for that. But there's no reason to get super sloppy. Right. So you take something that is classic like a polo and then you do that same those same principles of, of materials and you change the polo into a knit polo so it's a yeah. little bit a little bit different a little bit textured and then you add some pattern to it and it becomes this throwback look that kind of would fit on Don Draper and mm. it's super masculine and it works just as well and then if you feel like your man is ready, yeah. get him to wear some white pants. Some okay. white chinos like these. That's a stretch It's for summer, a lot of us. But it's totally doable. It's totally doable. Yeah. Well, especially this cut. I mean, you're not saying these need to be skin tight, nor no. should they. Nor should they. Right. That's the thing. The slim is in, but not skinny anymore. So it's comfortable, it's, it's fitted, but yeah. it, uh, it's relaxed. One of the things you say about the polo, which I think is, is a really nice, uh, you know, casual look because it still looks pulled together, is don't pop that collar, guys. Yes. Never. Thank you so much for reminding me. I really needed to tell that. <laughs> Never Polos do it. are great, but just don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, just don't. Yeah, That's the okay. rule. Thank you. <laughs> don't pop the collar. Mm -mm. Now, we're going on vacation. Yes. You're thinking, oh, it's vacation. I can bring my sandals. I can bring my casual shoes. I can re let loose. I can wear huge baggy cargo shorts <laughs> that yeah. I wore in college because... Uh, it's vacation. So, exactly. But you don't have to. You no. can actually look good whenever. Yeah. Um, so this one's a little bit pushing it. In fact, if you can get your man to wear an ascot... Right. Um, 
<laughs> I'll take care of your kids for a weekend or something. <laughs> I don't know. It might not happen. No. But it's aspirational. Exactly. Right? So you can what work you can do this. Exactly. So what you can do is you can get the shorts to fit a little bit better. So yeah. make sure that they're above the knee, not super short, but yeah. a little bit above the knee. Uh, you ditch the graphic tees and mm. put on a a bold print shirt. So that would be the shirt underneath. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's something very funky about this, and the graphic tees have had a good run. They sure have. Um, but maybe use that for the gardening now when exactly. you're at home. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. you're in your Crocs. I said Crocs. Are you uh, okay with that? I am okay with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, put on something like this that's no. a little bit funky and nice for weekend Exactly. Wear. Yeah. Um, and then you get this safari look, which uh, yeah. this jacket. Which is kind of pushing, but, but also, if you're not feeling comfortable with the bold print, you can have this cooler jacket to tone it down a bit. Make you feel good. Yeah. All right, Greg Hudson, everyone. Thank you for that. Updating your men's style. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. It's family day.